the miscarriage. You've been through so much. I'm still here. I'm never leaving you. Surprise. I bet you're just glad to have him home. Yeah. Can't believe you've discharged yourself. How are you feeling? Like I dodged a bullet. Or a wire. I must have someone watching over me. Yeah, but look what happens when they take their eye off you for a minute. You end up in that thing. Mm. I'll have to sleep down here for a while. You'll have to make me up a bed on the sofa. Well, I reckon Belle will make you a very good nurse. You're a lucky man, Tom King. I don't know it. There's no one else in this whole world that I would rather have looking after me. What some people do to get off work, eh? <laughs> I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. Thanks for all your help. You need to thank Paddy and all. I brought you back from the hospital. He brought you back from the dead. I don't think thank you comes close. I hope you're ready for what comes next. I guess now we'll find out what in sickness and in health really means. You all good? Do you need anything else? No. We need to talk. I feel guilty, Belle. Guilty? Come here. Look. What happened to me? It's messed me up a bit. But you, what you've been through, I mean, you had a miscarriage. I mean, your mental health, it must be in bits right now. I'm fine. Belle! No one goes through what you've been through and feels fine. I have to be. Look, it's times like this where it's important that we talk properly, communicate. Because otherwise, it's just going to build up and up and... And then it's going to become a ticking time bomb. You remembered to take your tablets. <laughs> I know there's lights and alarms. Yeah, I remembered. Easy thing to forget with everything that's gone on. I'm only checking because I worry about you. I never stop worrying. It's why I discharged myself. I've got to keep my eye on you, don't I? What did I promise you yesterday? That you're never going to leave me. But I just want you to focus on getting better. You see, that is your problem, Belle, right there. You are always putting other people first. Can I get it? Talking about things can be difficult, but I can only help you if I know everything about what happened about the miscarriage. I've told you everything. Have you? Yeah. I feel like I have. Just all happened so... Fast? Yeah. It's really difficult for me to talk about it. I think... You want to tell me something? I can see it. In you. Sometimes I think I know you better than you know yourself. Don't answer it. Hey. Stranger. Oh, you had us worried there for a moment, Tom. Not as worried as Belle. She thought she was gonna have to arrange my funeral. Tom. 
Well, I'm sorry if you can't laugh. Yeah, they can't stop us laughing, can they? <laughs> so, from what I'm hearing, Moira's barn was pretty smashed up. Well, how did that happen? You didn't know? Well, me? I was a little bit busy almost being electrocuted to death. Yeah, what's with all the questions, Charity? Everybody's asking them. Like, why, for instance, was there a great big dent in the rotary isolator? Hang on. Are you actually asking if I did this to myself? No. God, no. I just don't want anyone blaming Noah, because he was up there, wasn't he? He was the one who fitted it. No one's blaming Noah. It was a bit of a mess when I got there. I don't know how or why. And then I must have touched something that I shouldn't have. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in a hospital bed. He was there all night. Well, I guess if it was that bad, you'd still be in there, wouldn't you? <laughs> like you say, you got a laugh. <sighs> well, thanks for coming. So you didn't see anyone up there then, Tom? No. And right now, all I'm focused on is getting myself better. If that's all right with you. Sorry. Just trying to work out what happened, you know? Whoever did this... Look, we just want to be left alone. It's not a good time for us right now. That's making me wonder why you're not still in hospital then, eh? Because I'm not talking about me, all right? I'm talking about Belle. I'm talking about the miscarriage. Why didn't you tell anyone? I wasn't ready. I told someone. Who? Mac. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> I had to talk to someone. And please thank him for me. He was brilliant. He's a, a great listener. Sorry, you actually told Mac? Yesterday. <sighs> I'm sorry. But I told him to keep it to himself, and obviously he did. But we do know the real reason why you didn't want anyone knowing, don't we? And it's okay. You can tell the truth now. We well, felt ashamed. Ashamed? What? For not keeping the baby, that somehow this is her fault. No, Belle, this is not your fault. Well, I know that. I, I, I keep trying to tell her. Belle, listen to me. Do you remember when I had the ectopic pregnancy? I was in such a bad place. I had all the same emotions, shame, anger, guilt. It's just your brain making you feel worse. Well, nobody can tell you how to feel, but I have been there. It's like losing something you never had. But that loss is still real. It still hurts. It, it hurts like mad. She just needs time to process things. We both do. On her own. I spoke to Debs. Guess that's why you were planning on going to Scotland. What? Nothing was planned. Belle probably doesn't want to keep talking about it. Yeah, I know, but... We're fine, honestly. Thank you for coming round. Belle, if you need anything, anything at all... Don't tell anyone. We just want to keep it quiet. Debbie, don't you? She's all over the place. So we did discuss visiting, but nothing was set in stone. Yeah, yeah, I did think it was a bit weird. But if you were going up to Scotland, you would have. You would have told me first, though, wouldn't you? Obviously. But my dad's up there, so it might be nice in the future. Mm. Listening to Charity earlier, it was it was awful, wasn't it? Oh, no. I mean, what she's been through, that poor woman. And knowing that you have been through almost the exact same thing, I mean... It absolutely breaks my heart. Tom. I just 
wish I knew what to say to make things better. You don't have to say anything. It's like losing something that you never had, but that loss still hurt. That's, that's what she said, right? Something like that? Yep. I can't imagine the pain that you are going through right now, Belle. I just, I feel so helpless. Well, Dot. You've had a miscarriage. I mean, you might never get over this. I have to. Not on your own, not without help. Look, hospitals, they, they, they have things in place for this kind of thing, but you're telling me that you weren't offered anything at all? I didn't want anything. Because you weren't in the right frame of mind, Belle. You just lost your baby. I want to know why you weren't given proper support. What are you doing, Tom? Getting answers. Don't do that. Belle, we can't heal unless we get past Tom, this. Tom, please. Please, Dot. Please. I didn't. I didn't have a miscarriage. I've lied to you. And I'm so sorry. I've had an abortion. I'm so sorry. I can't. Do you realise what you're telling me? I know. Do you? I feel sick. I didn't know how to tell you. I didn't know what to say. To... I think, I mean, everything you told me. I wanted to tell you the truth. But why? It was, it was easier to lie. I didn't want to hurt you. Hurt me? I'm sorry. For what? For lying or murdering our baby? Is it my fault? Your fault. I must have driven you to it. I mean, no one... No one kills their own baby for no reason. You heard what Jerry said. What that loss... feels like. Well, it must have meant nothing to you. It did. It really did. That's why you were going to Scotland. No, I, I told you. I saw the suitcase, Belle! You got rid of our baby. <laughs> and then you were gonna leave me.